So as y'all out there may or may not know, I am a big fan of the artist's cause. And I also have a bit of a soft spot for the brand Cactus Plant Flea Market. So when they teamed up for a new drop together, I decided that we had to get in on the action, you know? So without further ado, let's check it out. Yo, 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 before we get too much further, subscribe to the channel. I make tons of luxury and streetwear content. And also, if you're looking for deals on luxury and streetwear, check the description. I've got some of the best sites with all authentic stuff. Check it out. So this shirt right here comes in a nice little a baggie. We do have a sticker down in the bottom right, so let's take a look at that. White sticker, Cause X Cactus Plant Flea Market. I'm definitely curious to see who made this shirt. Like, did it come from Cause and whatever manufacturer he used? Did CPFM make it? I don't know. We'll see. Then we've got a model number. Always good to have. And it looks like the size is at the end there, I'm guessing. Colorway, black. Nice and classic. Love a good black t-shirt. I am a, a punk goth boy at heart. In size, medium. The back of the bag has all of your typical warnings. Like, this thing is covered in print. I won't bore you, but... As you can see, the back of this bag should be just totally covered in text in various languages. All right, enough of the boring stuff. Let's open this thing up. One thing I will say before we do that is I'm really curious to figure out like what is happening here because it has a 3D effect to it and I'm not sure how they are achieving that effect. So, first impression, it feels kind of stiff, kind of like a more like a vintage style of fabrication. Yeah, yeah, it's got that kind of roughness to it that you would expect from a vintage t-shirt. It also looks like you can see, like, the texture in there. It's it's an old-school kind of weave, I would say. Not as not as modern, but a lot of brands like doing that. Like, it, it is intentional, I'm guessing. Nice, I like that. I like that. Okay, that's a good design, you guys. That, that's a good design. Let's take a closer look here. So it looks like we've got two things going on, two very interesting things. So we've got a combo of print. So the blue, that's just like a normal screen print. And that blue goes all throughout here. It's also printed the cause logo over here. But the rest of this is like a dotted, I don't know, like glued painted thing. Like it, it's 3D, it pops out. Like you can see they've a little taken paint or something. I'm guessing that's what it is, and just like dabbed it on in very specific ways. Oh, the yellow here is also printed, but the green around the edges, the black for the smiley is all like dip painted on. I wish, I want to know what the name of this technique is, but I don't know if I'll find it. Let me know in the comments what it's called. And then down at the bottom here, the CPFM logo, same deal. That really, really pops out. Like, let me see if I can... See that? Look at how much that comes out of the shirt. That's crazy talk. If we turn that shirt inside out, we can see where it's kind of like bled through, which is always actually a good thing to see because that means it's actually going to stay on there better than it would otherwise. It's really soaked into the fabric, which you want to see. The back of our shirt here is blank. Nothing going on. You know, a little bit boring, but that front is pretty crazy. I think it carries the piece. And then we've got kind of classic ribbed neckline here. If we can get that to focus up. There you go, double stitch there. Single stitch for these sleeves, short sleeves. And then just like a classic two stitches here, folded over hem. All right, let's get a look at the tags or whatever we've got going on inside here. I'm curious there. So at the back of the neck, we do have some print. And judging by how this print looks and how this shirt feels, this feels like they are using the same manufacturer that uh, Cactus Jack uses. That would be my guess. I don't know why both Cactus brands have to use the same manufacturer, but that's really what it feels and looks like here. But in like a gray, it's not white, it's definitely gray. The Cause logo, the CPFM logo print, bigger underneath, medium in lowercase, and then our fabrication and washing instructions underneath. Um, I don't love when brands do this. It feels cheaper to me to go with print at the back of the neck. I would rather see like a tag here, some care tags inside the shirt, but just seeing all the info printed here just feels like a, a bit cheap. 
I get it makes sense. Like if you're going to have the money go somewhere and you only have so much of it to go around, I would rather you use it on the stuff that people can see. But still, I don't know. I always, I've never liked seeing printed info like this on a shirt. Another thing I don't love seeing is the made in Honduras down there. Honduras, not particularly known for like super high end garment making, I wouldn't say. You'd expect to see, uh, you know, Portugal, something like that there. Even seeing like USA or Canada would be preferred for me to Honduras. Uh, so it's definitely fairly cheaply manufactured, at least the blank that it's printed on. This, the art here, looks very, very high quality and I'm sure takes some level of craftsmanship. So that is impressive in its own way, but the shirt that it's printed on is, is a bit of an afterthought, which is a bit unfortunate. But listen, for the most part, this here is what matters and that's really cool and done really well. All right, now that we've checked all of those details out, let's try this piece on to see how it feels and see how it fits. All right, I mean, the main takeaway here, look at this shirt. It's a really good design. I'm a big fan of this collab, but let's talk about the, the fit and the feel. So fit-wise, I would say this is a slim fit. As you saw, this is tagged to size medium. Uh, this fits to me much closer from what I would expect from a small from most brands these days. Uh, so unless you are a fan of a slim fit, I would size up once from your normal size. For reference, I'm 5'10", about 145 pounds, and this is a size medium. The feel, as I mentioned, I have not minced any words that I don't think this is the highest quality or greatest feeling blank for the t-shirt itself. Uh, it is both a bit rough and a bit thin feeling. I'm definitely curious to see how it holds up after being worn and washed multiple times, both the feel of the shirt itself and also that print, because I also have my concerns about the kind of painted effect and stuff like that. But as with many of the things we look at on this channel, uh, it's not all about the fit and the feel. The majority of what people are looking for in this piece is the look, and it achieves that very well. I think it's a cool design, very striking, a good team up by two very good designers, and I think this is a good thing to have in the collection. Uh, if I was just going out and looking for the most comfortable shirt to just go out in and exist for the day, would I choose this one? No, but I will still wear it when I'm looking for that particularly striking, kind of neon-y, colorful look in a black t-shirt, which, you know, you don't see all that often. So it is a win in some ways here. All right, so that is the new Cause X Cactus Plant Flea Market collab t-shirt. Take a look at the other video on screen here, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you next time.